So I'm not really seeing a timing issue if I'm diagnosing it right. Basically, on faux cock, it is aligning, the hammer is aligning with this nipple. It, it, the, the hammer is aligning with the nipple. So I'm not seeing a problem there. Uh, now, the wedge is now able to be removed. It's completely unloaded, so I drop the cylinder on the floor. That's, it's completely unloaded. Just, just rest assured. The the problem here, I think, is, again, I think the problem is this element here going into this element here. So I'm gonna see. That's where the resistance really is. So again, that's where the resistance really is. We're, we're, we have it misaligned intentionally, again, as the triash to see if it's these elements here, the lower element here, or if it's this element into this element. And it's clearly this element, which we're not gonna bother with any machining whatsoever. And now, so so the app one of the it, it, one of the engineering abnormalities is that this normally does not have any type of struggle going in to get the barrel back in with it aligned. And again, this part goes. Hold on. This part, you see, this part is flush. This part is flush. So I don't think it's a spacing machine spacing issue. I think it's between this element and this element where you have, it will not go in unless I hammer it in with a, pound it in with a mallet. Okay, let's get this, let's get a hammer in. With the mallet. And now the now the next problem, once more. Goddamn latch. Okay. Right now, but basically with the latch, if the latch is all the way in, it's blurry as shit. With the latch all the way in, It'll stop. The mechanism is completely stuck. The mechanism is completely stuck. Now with with the uh, basically with the latch all the way in and visible from the other side. But now if we pound the latch back out, the wedge back out a little bit. The mechanism, the uh, this whole this this the mesh this the the mechanism hammer hand rotating cylinder is back in service. So, but anyway, as a safety note, if the if the front end barrel mechanism is not secured, it's do not use it as 
some operational peace. You don't want to get injured or uh, basically have something, you know, blow up in the in the in the cylinder chamber. That's just not good. So safety first, homie.